to admit, I feel a tad bit dumbfounded that this movie like hit me in a way that I wasn't expecting. Like I read all the good reviews and stuff and how people were talking about how it had, you know, really great character development. It was a very engaging story. It was an emotional story. Um, and it really gives you the Godzilla that you're looking for, which is just a brute force of destruction, right? That's what Godzilla is essentially meant to be, the representation of destruction. And I really wasn't expecting this movie to get me to experience such emotional depths in two hours. Everything from the beginning of the main character's story, you know, how his shame that he lives with throughout his life came to be, and, and just kind of how that began to multiply and really negatively impact his mental health. And, you know, suddenly he has what could be looked at as a light or what's representative of his future comes into his life. But he doesn't know that he has to live for it yet. And you're basically spending the two hours of the movie watching a character who lives with such immense guilt really discover the emotion of finding his future to live for. <laughs> like, I know it might seem, like, so simple, and it is, but it's in the way that it's executed and brought to the screen with power, raw power, and vigor that really made this, like, the best Godzilla movie I have ever seen. This is probably, like, the best movie I've seen all year, quite frankly. I don't know, man. Anyway, I'm getting to bed. It's almost 2 a.m. That's my review for Godzilla Minus One. Holy shit. Good night.